saw that uh, my face was turning blue. He he lifted me up, took off the extension cord, and we sat there for a minute. And I asked him, I said, well, what did I just do? And he said, hey, why do you want to die? He didn't even answer my question. He's like, why do you want to die? I said, I don't like myself. So after he and I had talked... We both go into the house, and I tell my mom and my stepfather at the time, I told them what I had just done. And the first thing that my mom does is she she laughs. Like, I guess that's how she got the pain out, is from the laughter. Um, although it's not funny, it was very serious, because there was another time when I tried to kill myself as a teenager and my mom beat the shit out of me from it. I mean, I don't know what would have been worse. Uh, killing myself or sitting or standing there, sitting there, uh, taking an ass whooping because of me wanting to kill myself. So, suicide is, I mean, you have to question, you have to look for signs and stuff and, um, it's sad that in this day and age, I mean, you never know anymore. People go through some shit. Um, I tried to kill myself a few years back even, probably about nine years ago, because I lost custody of one of my sons. And the mother of my son, she has no remorse for it. She is, um, she's married again, and this guy is, if the purge was real, that would probably be the only person I would go after. I would love to see this man dead. That way I could be in my kid's life, because he has brainwashed my ex, my, my, my sons. It's just, it's just one of those things, um he's an evil person in my eyes and um, I, I've lost two of my sons because of this redneck fucking hillbilly pig fucker and um, yeah but anyway uh, not trying to get off subject uh, that was just my little tribute my homage I'm not going to play a whole bunch of uh Lincoln Park songs or whatever. I just wanted to play those two who have passed on uh, by their own hand. They played this together. It was Hunger Strike, a Temple of the Dog song. Um, but next, I'm going to play three songs. And mind you, all these songs are related to suicide or death. Um, it was totally, totally coincidental. Because I had already uh, recorded my segment, so this was just an add-on. So please listen, enjoy. Uh, the next song I'm going to play for you is by Silverchair called Suicidal Dream. Here at the Prickly Rickly segment at rockmetaltalk.com.
I've tried to fill the silence up, but now it's back again. Yes, pa-